Morning, guys. Yes, we're live at the Kentucky Science Center this morning, getting ready for their pandemonium. A big panda party happening this Sunday. I'm here with Amber. She's going to talk to us a little bit about the different activities that people can expect um, when they come to the party. Absolutely. So when you come to our pandemonium party, we're going to have all kinds of engaging activities for your itty bitty kids, mm -hmm. as well as activities that your older kids are still going to have fun with. We're going to be making some panda masks that your kids can wear. Yep. We are gonna be doing panda story time. And we also have these adorable make and take pandas that your kiddos can make in our very own maker place. But what I wanna to talk to you guys today about is how pandas are similar and how they're different from other animals. Okay. So I have with me two different skulls. Mm -hmm. So I have an alligator here. And then I have a grizzly bear over here. Okay. And you might not believe it because one's a mammal and one is a reptile, that they're different from pandas, but you're gonna find similarities in both of them. And talk to me a little bit about what pandas eat and their teeth. Absolutely. So pandas eat a lot of bamboo. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows that. Right. So pandas will eat upwards towards 25 or 30 pounds of bamboo every day. Wow. So that might lead you to believe that they're an herbivore mm -hmm. or a plant eater, but that is not always the case. Okay, what do you mean? So pandas, if they have availability to it, they will also eat meat and eggs. And so they're actually omnivores, just like us. They'll eat both plants and meat. Wow. So that means that like our grizzly bear here, uh -huh. he will have some sharp teeth in the front okay. that are used to rip open and tear. And that's also helpful for the bamboo stalks because they are super hard. Right. But then they also have these teeth in the back that are super flat, like our molars. And those teeth are used to grind up all of the plants. Wow. And then also happening here is you're showing um, the film. So you yes. see the sign behind us. Tell, talk to me about some of the interesting points of the film. Absolutely. So our pandas 3D movie is all about trying to get pandas back out into the wild. So pandas are, are very endangered animals and a lot of them are in captivity right now. So the goal is for researchers in China to get those pandas back into the wild. So they're implementing different types of procedures that they've found here in America with black bears in order to get them back out into the wild. All right, well, that's all happening Sunday here at the Kentucky Science Center. And something Amber did not mention, um, but that is intriguing to me is that there, I was like, oh, just like looking at the pandas, are they cute? And she's like, well, they are sliding down a panda slide at one point. And it takes me back to the fair with those little ducklings. So I would imagine it's a pretty great film. No kidding. There's nothing better than little watching little animals just roam around. A panda slide. Element. That panda is slide. so cute.